Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. Welcome back to my shop. So, just had a interesting project come in the door. It should make for a good video, or should I say videos? Because there's no way we're gonna get this done in one video. But I uh, think you'll enjoy it. So, let me grab the camera. I'll take you over and show you what we got. So, what you're looking at is a diesel generator. It's a good old uh, Detroit diesel. I think this is a two cylinder, so it would be a 2V71, I believe that's what you'd call the designation on it. Here is the old generator part. Let's see, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not. So an old Dace Delco AC generator. I'm trying to move it around in case there's glare. Let me try it without the extra light. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. So it was a 20 kilowatt generator. 70 amps. Three phase. So this generating part of the unit has gone bad. He took it to a motor shop and they want $8,000 to rebuild it. So yeah, that's not happening. So here is the new unit. Apparently this is the new standard unit that they produce now. And what we need to do, obviously, is fit the back of this, or should I say the front of that maybe, to the back of this. <clears throat> Now, he doesn't care how I do it. He just said, make it work. First obstacle we got is, so this part of the unit, you can see, had mounting supports that went on these pads here, which supported the back of the engine. So we'll have to address that first. So we'll have to get the back of the engine stable. What is nice is we have these two faces, one right here and one right here to work off of. So I think the plan of attack is going to be to move these pads here and then what we'll do is we'll make some sort of brackets to come off of there and mount to here and that'll get that engine stable and at the right plane that we need and then once that's done then we got to address you know obviously how to mount that here and then we've got to build some sort of adapter shaft coming off the back of the flywheel here to uh the generator itself so said we got a lot of different things to do should be a fun project so uh stay tuned and i hope you guys enjoy I got stuff moved around, got the gantry crane all set up. I think this will work. Got uh, about 400 pounds lifted up right now. And got a pretty level. See if you guys can see that. Working off the frame and if we come off of uh, the starter, That seems to be consistent with the frame here. Not much flat I can work off of, but I did find this machine surface right here. And we're looking pretty good. And then when you come over here, using the old angle box, we are nice and straight up that's a nice machine surface there so that's good so we don't want it obviously tilted so we can come straight in with uh, whatever adapter I decide to build as I mentioned in the intro I think the plan of attack is gonna be go ahead and get this mount that mount removed we'll get them up to here and on the opposing side basically in line with this flat face here and we do have these plates right here and that one there so I can reuse those I can cut those out because that's what will be mounted on there 
So let me get you set up somewhere and let me get to work. So I found when I need to cut thick stuff, this metal cutting saw, obviously it's got carbide tips on the blade, works a lot faster and a cleaner cut than if I use the plasma cutter. So let me get some stuff cut up here, watch your ears. Now that's 3 8 inch thick plate and just sliced it like butter. Look at that edge. So you saw me cutting the plates out. This is 3 8 thick, uh, 6 by 7. I just drilled the holes off camera. They're uh, 5 8 in diameter. So this mount will go right, right there. And then when you can see I got one ready to weld up. So we'll get that tacked in. And then I gotta make a plate for the side of the uh, bell housing here. And then the support. And then we'll do a support underneath here from there to there. And I think that should be plenty nice and beefy. So I mean, if you look at the front of the motor, shoot, they've only got two. And they're running, uh, let's see, looks like 3 8 plate also, so we should be good. Let me uh, get that other one fitted up, and I'll get them tacked up, and then I'll start working on these plates. Hi, right, you ready, buddy? We've been playing today. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'll do a short one. You catch it. Ready? Oh, yeah. That's easy for you. That's easy for you, anybody. Yeah. Well, you saw me make these plates. I always drill the holes, I just cut it out. And I got these mounts done, so now I'm just working on getting the uh, right geometry for the support so we can weld this baby on. So coming over here, I'm going to use this 3 inch wide, 3 8 inch thick plate. So, Trace it out here. Got enough to get this one more. So, got enough to get two out of this. Woo! Talk about cutting it close. Now let me get these buzzed out and then I'll get tacked on and then I'll bring you guys back when I'm getting ready to weld them up. 
just finished the brackets got them tacked in so this is what uh, one rear engine mount is going to look like all 3 8 inch thick plate come over to the other side it's the same deal except where the starter comes in I had to notch it a little bit get some clearance and I had to move it over just a tad bit off center to uh, clear this looks like an oil hole so that's what we got I'm gonna get you set up on the tripod and I'm gonna burn all this stuff in Well, there you go. The rear motor mounts are done. I am pleased. It was nice that uh, this motor here came with, you know, this, uh, I guess, supports on both sides. So it made it easier for me to mount. Didn't have to uh, come up with something crazy. Use the original rear rubber mounts that were here. So it isolates here, isolates there. You know, all this is 3 8 plate. And then I added this plate down here. Seeing that this mount is, you know, straddling this, what is this? C channel. You know, and if the engine's moving this way, it's gonna eventually try to fatigue these welds. So I figure putting this support here would be a would be a good thing. Keep it from rocking. So it's all nice and stable. So it had the index there. And there's this one here, so I think we're looking good. She is nice and perpendicular. So I guess this is probably a good place to end this uh, video for part one. And then part two, we'll tackle getting you know the generator mounted figure out the best way to do that and i'm also leaning towards reusing this piece here for lack of terminology i just call it like a, a face plate because this bolted to the back of the flywheel and this center section obviously had some sort of flange that stuck out and mounted to the old generator so should be able to kind of replicate that you know keep things simple save the customer some money because the less R&D I got to do you know the cheaper this project is going to be so I appreciate you guys watching Mr. Chaos says he appreciates it too so daddy ain't been throwing my toy very much but uh We'll see you in part two, guys. Take care. Bye.